Rody Foodie family, what's up guys? Man, I am in the mood for some freaking pizza today. And I know that we have to film a local spot. So I had this pizza, I would say, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't remember exactly when it was. But I remember taking one bite of it. I think it was that that video that we did with Camilla and I, and we took a piece of pizza from uh, Lindsay as a as a <laughs> as a friend tax. And I've been thinking about this pizza for so long. So I ordered from Paisoni's. We're on our way, guys. Happy New Year! Let's keep it going. I got some uh, some life updates. We're gonna eat some pizza. Hopefully, sorry, pizza. And uh, I hope that they didn't forget my dip dip. I always forget to ask and make sure that we have dip dip guys. So come with me. Let's go get this. Let's get this grub in the city. Here we go. Check this out. Boom. Pizzoni's salad subs. But we go for that pizza jump off. Let's get into it. I even know that they had delivery like that. Look at this. Call that number if you want some Pizzoni's. Got to get a popping son. Pizza on the move. Oh my God. We're just gonna take a minute here and just enjoy this beautiful, by the way, look at this. Dip, dip one, dip, dip two, baby, Pisonis. Oh my God, this is what they call the Smoky Joe, guys. Oh, uh, chicken, barbecue drizzle, onions, just all that good, good in here. Look how it's, it's like, look at this. You can take, anybody who's watching this on YouTube right now, Take a screenshot. You can make this into art. <laughs> make this into art. Make sure you put this on canvas. Put it all. Put it above your fireplace. All right, guys. All right, let's get into it. Look at that right here. Bazonis. How are you? Let's get into the video. I'm starving. This smells so good. Happy New Year week continues here, guys. Rhode Island local love hashtag Pizzoni's Pizza. But they also got a book, guys. Go check out Pizzoni's. They have, I think that they have uh, obviously a handful of locations in Rhode Island, but also in Massachusetts. Pizonies.com. Make sure you check them out. Again, I kind of wanted to, I know I said it in the intro, but man, I've been thinking about this pizza for a while. For a while. We, uh, I took a, a, a little taste. <laughs> I took a little tax from Lindsay that one time we ordered it for her. Oh, she lives in Warwick. Oh my God, guys. Let's just. Let's just, I, I want to show you how beautiful this is. Oh, cheese ball. Look how beautiful that is. My mouth is watering right now. Down the hatch. We'll talk about more in a second, huh? Ooh, so hot. Mmm. Oh my God, it has bacon in it too. I totally forgot about that. Look at that, let me put that up for you guys. Oh my God. This pizza is so freaking heavy. My eating tray keeps sliding backwards. So if you guys see me doing this, if you see me doing this, that's why. All right, all right, let's take one more bite without the dip dip. Mmm. Mmm. Also, they give you the option, too, if you order online, guys. If you order online, which I didn't even know. You guys saw, like, in the little intro, I didn't even know that they did delivery. You know what? I probably did, but, you know me, I like to get out of the house as much as I can with everything happening. Look at that. Mm. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Keep the party going. Don't ever bite that off. Mm. Happy New Year indeed. Look at that. It's okay. You can drip. You can drip if you need to. Boop. Mmm. Something about all those, the sweetness of the sauce. With the saltiness of the of the bacon just all comes together it all comes together baby oh and by the way shout out to the staff they were so sweet when i went in there too did i i wasn't able to get your name because i know 
I was trying to be in and out, right? Trying to be safe. Uh, does it have a name on here? Janissa? Janessa. One of the two. That's okay. Everyone either calls me Lupe or Lupi. So I feel your pain when it comes to names. Check this out, guys. Let me take one more bite, and I want to show you one of the reasons why I like Paisona's, uh, Paisoni Pies. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody that knows me, and I, there's other people like me. The more I do this channel, the more I'm figuring out how how other people are too. By the way, you know Crystal Light, they have a they have a version that has caffeine in it. Yeah, that's that's where I that's where I like to live. All right, guys, pizza, right? Look at the crust. Let me give you 10 seconds to look at the crust. It's very minimal crust. They literally go all the way to the edge. They go all the way. All my people that believe in flat earth, right? <laughs> all my flat earth theorists, this is going all the way to that ice wall. You know what I'm talking about. Look at that, guys. Uh, windows are fogged up. It's getting real romantic in here. I'm surprised that they haven't called the cops. They're like, sir, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there with the pizza? Here we go. Another dip dip. Oh, man. Let's do the one minute mini ASMR, guys. No talking starting right now. One minute. All right, one minute over. I'm trying to save this piece of chicken from drowning a ranch, but I couldn't. Here we go. Done that. Mmm. They have a, I think a small. It's like 10 inches. Or you can go for the large. And they have regular pizzas too, guys. You don't have to eat kind of the, the specialty pies like this, but when I had it that one time, and it's not like weirdy, you, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about when I say this, right? You're gonna be like, Loop, I know exactly what you're talking about. It doesn't have that weirdy chicken that some places use. You know what I'm talking about. This is a really good chicken here. Mmm. All right, guys. Go check them out. By zones, you live local, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Two slices, and I'm kind of like, you guys are getting me. You're packing a punch with these slices. Uh, all right, that was really good. That review part is over, guys. Let's just chat now. By zones, thank you so much. Muy. Delicioso. Can't wait to be back. Going to be eating my whole way through the menu. Just to let you guys know. I'm going to be teaming up with them real soon. This was kind of a out of blue. I was just craving this pie today. So I called up. Pre-ordered it. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Didn't set this up. I just wanted to eat it. That's just, you know, that's just, I wanted to eat it. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So some quick updates. Rody Foodie updates. One. Kind of bizarre. I got something in the mail, right? I like to tell you guys about my day. Um, I got something in the mail. Oh my god, this pie is just 
it's so loaded. It's so loaded and it's so... Mm. You know when you eat some stuff, guys, and it's like kind of, I hate to use the word low quality, but the quality is kind of like, eh, you feel full, but like you also feel like disgusted. And then when you eat stuff that has better ingredients in it and you full, you, you're full without that disgusting feeling. Does that make sense? Let me know what you guys think. Plus, I love onions. Oh, my God. Love onions. Mmm. Mixed with that ranch. That's just where it's at. Okay. Quick updates. One. Foster puppy. Well, foster mom. So, I, we thought that she was going to have more than 11 puppies. That's it. 11 puppies total. It's actually, there was a, a, a very cute, very cute segment on the news last night because they were born on New Year's Day. So they were, they're considered New Year's Day puppies. So I thought that was really, really cute. Um, so we, we went on, you know how every town has a community forum. So we went on, asked everybody for newspapers. Because what I'm going to do today is I cleaned out the spare bedroom, like I told you guys. Um, I have to go to the rescue league, pick up pee pads and the uh, uh, the gate thing. So um, she'll be coming to my house in the next probably 48 hours. Um, they just want to like have her there for a little longer, just to make sure like everything is okay. And also, they keep asking me if I'm okay. Like, are you sure? Can you handle this? And I'm like, listen, I can handle anything this world has to throw at me. Plus, uh, when a doggy is uh, malnourished, um, uh, the sad thing is that you can see her bones everywhere. Oh, my God. Something gets me going when it, when it comes to dogs. Like, I just don't understand how they're mistreated. Uh, but anyways... So, um, obviously I'm gonna spoil her. She's gonna be a roadie foodie doggy. So it means, uh, we're gonna bulk her up. It's bulking season. All right, guys, it's the winter. It's where we throw on those extra few pounds to get us through the winter. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anybody that lives in New England or in cold weather? Be like, Lou, we do that in, in warm weather too. What are you talking about? All right, fair enough. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that, that she was on the news uh, yesterday, uh, very, very cute. I was like a proud papa, proud uh, foster dad. So getting that room ready. I'll let you guys, I'll show you guys how I'm setting up the room. And then obviously when the puppies come in and the mommy, the mommy dog comes in. Um, and I'll also update you if there's any last minute uh, type of, you know, if they say like, you know, can't do it anymore or whatnot. So, um because I kind of put my hopes up on the last doggy, and uh, I hate I hate disappointment. But we'll get it going. All right. Next topic, guys. Hawaii. Mm. Hawaii. Aloha. What I found out, what I found out about Hawaii is that aloha means both, means hello and goodbye. <laughs> ah. So, uh, unfortunately, Camilla and I did not get picked for that program. Uh, we were hoping to move to Hawaii for a month and kind of take our, our food uh, journeys uh, there and kind of blog for you guys and vlog for you. Um, I was really excited. I started researching and this is, I got to stop doing this, but I was, I started researching different restaurants, uh, local, locally owned restaurants in Hawaii, uh, that we could feature and have fun and, and kind of put together food tours and stuff like that. So that's okay. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So, uh, I thought that would be funny. Aloha means hello and goodbye. 
So we didn't get picked for that. Thank you guys so much for the well wishes. Um, I was going to write an email and be like, who did you pick? Right? It's like when you get rejected by your crush, you're like, well, what do they have that I don't have? Huh? <laughs> your voice cracks a little bit. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, hey, I'm, I'm one of those subscribers to life where everything happens for a reason. And, you know, there's really, you know, nothing that you can really do about, I consider that now my past, right? Like loop, it just happened. I know, but I consider that like my past now. Uh, it's always about like moving forward and, you know, starting from the now, what can we do moving forward? So, uh, that's why, you know, as soon as I got that, I was like, okay, I got, you know, maybe that happened for a reason. I have like five, six projects in the works right now for 2021 that I need to get off the ground. I'm the type of person that just compounds my projects because I just like to have a lot going on. Obviously, it drains me, but I like to, I like to do things. Mm. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to eat half of this pizza. Mmm. Actually, I do believe it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pro tip. When you get to the bottom like that, guys, use this as a little taco. You get the little the little droppings like this. Use a pizza for support. Beep the boop. Pam, down the hatch. Mmm. So good. Sorry, it's so dark, guys. And the last thing that I'll leave you guys with, because this video is getting really long, is that, um, oh my God, it's so bright out today, is I got a really funny email, and I'm going to keep you guys up to date. You know me, I love these little things that happen in my life, is I got a letter from Fidelity Investments. I was like, I don't have a 401k or like a retirement savings account with them. Why are they sending me an email? I mean, an actual letter. And they, uh, I did that really fast because my address is on there. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can do it. All right. Fidelity. Um, they literally said, hey, we're trying to contact you, man. This almost sounds like a, like a scam, guys. Um, they're like, we're trying to contact you um, by your car's extended warranty. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we have an outstanding check for you. And I'm like, oh, my God, here we go. Is this one of those things where you try to get me to open up another account, blah, blah, blah. But then it said my employer, and I was like, oh, my God. So it was the radio station from a long, long time ago, right? So from when I used to work at um, Citadel at the time, it's Cumulus now that owns Hot 106 and Pro FM and a bunch of local radio stations here in Rhode Island. So um, I reached out to them. They said, hey, th that department, you have to call back Monday. So I, I hope to have an update for you guys. It's going to be really funny if it's like, yeah, we have a check here for 82 bucks. Um, or it can be something crazy. Like I forgot something in the account. It's just been incurring, 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 incurring. No, it's incurring. Incurring? This is my life right now. <laughs> Incruing. Um, what you call it? Uh, interest. So, and it's like, oh, we have to give you a check for a few grand. That's going to be insane. So, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. That's going to be fun. And guys, remember, support local, especially this year. The These, especially in Rhode Island and in New England, this is the slow season. Oh, my God. This is the slow season for Rhode Islanders uh, and anywhere that's really cold, really, right? Nobody wants to leave the house. So make sure you guys support local, uh, especially in these next few months. And uh, especially with all the things that are happening on top of it being the slow season. Um, unfortunately, we're probably going to see some more closures of, um, you know, town favorites. But, you know, with everyone's support, I think we can get them through uh, the winter months. Uh, that's why I'm putting together that idea of doing a live broadcast on our YouTube and our Facebook pages uh, from a different restaurant on location to help kind of promote and push um, delivery and takeout. Um, and I'm putting that together. I'm going to have some more updates for that for you guys in the next couple of days. 
um, so that you guys can mark it on your calendar and watch that. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you so much. I don't know by the time I post this if we're at or we're super close. Um, I'm filming today and posting today. What's today? Saturday? Saturday. Um, oh, my God. Hold on. Mm. Look at that. Mamma mia. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao. So I know that I had mentioned earlier about Hawaii and how it was kind of a disappointment and how it's kind of in my past now. So it got me to thinking that in almost every aspect of our lives, right, it, it be a professional, a personal, spiritually, psychologically, whatever it is, again, we're, we're starting on a new year. So my tip for you today is to stop replaying the past. Don't hit that replay button. Stop replaying the past put down your list of mistakes and create from now. We all have this invisible huge book that we carry around chained to our ankle of all the mistakes we've ever made. And a lot of times that stops us from moving forward. So again, my only advice to you for today is stop replaying the past, put down your list of mistakes and create from now. I can't wait to see what you create in this beautiful new year. I love you and have a great day.